here we go guys, stripping a golf club to replace the shaft, or to do a number of things actually, start with removing the head, paint stripper, this is KZG TRS that I'm replacing the shaft in for myself. This isn't part of the set that I'm rebuilding for Jake. This is for me. Right. Sit there for about five minutes doing that, maybe a bit less, but I don't think you need to look at that. You get the idea, don't you guys? Huh? Can you hear me? You get the idea? Oh, we'll come back. Alright, let's come back. Uh, need to get an oven bit to do this, but tea towel sort of works. Let's see what happens. Might be ready. Yep, there we go. Turn that off, pop that off. Go. One really hot club head that needs to be cleaned out. Somewhere it's not going to burn anything because that's hot. And here, we go do the same thing. Eh? I'm not going to use this shaft again, so let me get stuffed. So that's how you remove a head. Grip off. Grip off is this. Yeah. I don't want this grip. So. Yeah. 
Sell that shaft, it's been spined. It's an S300 here, probably going in my box. That's it. We'll come back to gluing clubs together and stuff, mate. Hey, welcome back, spew tubers, fellow spew tubers, golfers, golf nuts. I'm cleaning up some old shafts of mine, not old shafts, actually. Well, they are, they're getting on 10 years old, I suppose. Uh, but they've been sitting around and they're getting some new heads fitted to them. I'll show you. I'll go in here and grab one. That's a 9 iron. 4 iron. Let's have a look at the 4 iron. I've got a bird around here somewhere. I don't want to step on him. Okay, so. That's a Mizuno head, stamped and numbered, MP68, second hand, my son picked these up on eBay, eBay is a good place for golf clubs, look at that, there's not a ball mark on that face, this club, there's bag chatter, so they've been hanging around in a shop for a while, so those heads are getting fitted to these shafts, so, cleaning them up, that head can stay there for now. So I'm taking these old ferrules off, stripping this old tape, ensure it. Yeah. So here we go. I'll show you what, what, how I'm going to do this. Paint stripper, a custom bent nozzle on the end. Good luck finding that. Here's what it is. Paint stripper. We stick that over the top of the ferrule is suck like that. I'll loosen that off. And you'll see you need you need something like that to hold your shaft. Golf shaft. Okay, so there you go. Melted off. Flicked off. There we go. Get that up out of the way. That's still steaming hot. That's gone. Um, clamp that back down. That's clean as a whistle. Nothing in there. Usually with my glue I get I get glue up inside in there. I think I might cut that down a bit. I don't like that. This didn't have it, didn't need it. Okay. Back down. Back up here. Clamp that back in place once again. Loosen it off a touch once again. Take the paint stripper. Gently repeat the tape. I know this tape, <coughs> I put this tape on, this is just masking tape, two inches wide, put on lengthways and wrapped. I think it might be about, three, I think it's three wraps. I used to have three wraps on my grips in these days, those, when I did this, maybe more. But heat it up just enough to get the shaft hot and melt the glue. Okay, don't want to overdo it. box knife to it. Feels okay. I'll give it a go. No. Needs more. Close. No, no first prize for that one. Maybe a second prize. Let's see. Apart from the fact that it gets a bit smelly, burning it isn't really a problem. You just don't want to spend hours and hours and hours cutting it and stripping it off. This is a quicker way of doing it. Sometimes it isn't, as you can see. Sometimes it's just still just as nasty as ever. You can 
see the glue's melting. Maybe that there's only one layer that's melted. Yeah. And just peel it back gently and with a bit of luck. Most of it will come away, glue and all. Okay. Not bad. But it's put that shit straight in the bin, it sticks to everything because the glue's reactivated basically. And pull that out of there, peel that back. Once again, off there. Not only is it <coughs> reactivated, but it's generally more effective than it was before. Eh? Can of this, this shit, Inox. Places, protects, penetrates, lubricates. It's a bloody good cleaner. I use this on electrical stuff and this sort of shit. Give it a quick scrape. A little box cutter to get the tough shit off. Fairly expensive that stuff, it costs me 12 bucks a can, so it's reasonably expensive, but it's worth its weight in gold. You can, you can just about eat that, it won't hurt you. It's non toxic, it's not poisonous in any way, shape, or form. They make one that's actually um, edible, it's, it's for the food industry, you can use it to clean knives and things in the food game. So you can use the knife for it properly clean. And there you go. One KBS Turex shaft. Ready to have a head. Ready to be cut. Cut to length. My son's having these three quarters of an inch longer than standard. And these are an inch and a half longer than standard at the moment. I knew that when I cut them, that's why I kept them, because I knew that I could do anything I wanted with them. They're still brand new, basically. So it will take a little bit off, probably, I think it's yeah, three quarters of an inch off the end, I think. Glue a head onto it. I'll have a club, then I'll video him hitting it. Hitting this bag of lines. They're already pured. They're not pured. These are spined. I spine my clubs these days by just feeling for it is the spine is there I knew that already because that's why I found it 10 years ago when I first fit it the flat sides this side and that'll be glued into the head on the back of the swing here the head will be up this way with the KBS on top so the spine runs down here so we'll come back and I'll show you how that's all done and why we do it and on bye bye